Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a singer and actor with credits including This Christmas and Drink Girls. And now you can catch him on Saints and Sinners on Bounce TV. Please welcome the amazing Keith Robinson. Yay! Yeah. I'm well. How are you? Good. Good. Yeah, sit right here. Right, all right. All right. Hey, welcome to the show. First of all, Thanks we certainly appreciate your presence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks yes. So let's talk really quickly because, like, with most actors, when uh -huh. they go on their first audition, they're like, "Oh, I know I'm gonna yeah. get a no," but that wasn't your story. You got yeah. a yes on your first audition. Tell us about that. I got lucky. It was kind of by accident. I um, I kind of just went to an acting class to kind of help, you know, with my stage presence in case I had to pass out on stage like James Brown or something right, like that. Right, right. And uh, teacher thought I was good and told me to go read for this role, which was Power Rangers. And long story short, it worked out. I, I said, if I don't get this one, I might not even, I might not do it again. So. Wow. It, really? It worked out. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I played, was lucky. You played the manager on, uh, of Tupac's manager on All Eyes on Me. Yeah. That it, was, yeah. I mean, probably difficult to embody. What has been the, the most difficult role that you've had to portray? Um, you know, believe it or not, it was probably Fat Albert. Because what? I, I, yeah, I had to play, um, I had to play young Bill Cosby. I saw that movie. Mm -hmm. You saw that movie. Mm -hmm. um, so I, as an adult, you had to figure out how to play a kid, but an animated kid mm -hmm. in the real world. So that was kind of having to tap back into my ten-year-old self. Your so ten-year-old self. That was a little difficult. Yeah. That was that was different. Yeah. It's fun though. Yeah, you know, you, we've seen like, I would say the black renaissance uh, right. uh, happening in, in television right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Knowing that we seemingly have a place for our own. I think it's I think it's about time. I think it's I think it's wonderful though. I think um movies like Black Panther, the show that we can actually, you know, put numbers up, big numbers up at the box office, uh, really help. And I think I think we've come a long way. I think we've got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of stories to be told now. I think Hollywood has kind of turned their ear and kind of they're listening and they're kind of taking them in now because they see that we do have a major impact, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. and, and and we always have. So mm -hmm. I think it's a great time to be an artist, so I'm, I'm excited about yeah, where it's going. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of your yeah. artistry, you're pretty much a I don't know quadruple threat. Um, <laughs> really quadruple? I mean, huh? I'm just saying. What's there's, the fourth there's one? Like, um, okay. There's <laughs> producing, there's acting, there's singing, right, okay. and there's just being with his mate juggling. We <laughs> Underwater basket. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in Dreamgirls, though, mm -hmm. you were able to merge singing and acting so successfully. Yeah. But what I would like to know is, what is your most favorite thing? What do you prefer? What is your first love? Music. Music. Um, you know, I, I can started... Tell that about you. you can tell that? Yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, that's a big thing. I can, yeah. I can tell that If it comes from Selena You can Johnson. tell that about me, too? I can. Because <laughs> um, I started off in high school and singing groups. I got a deal in college. And we really just moved out to Hollywood. My, I was in a band. We moved out to Hollywood to kind of, you know, get a, get another record deal because the first mm -hmm. one fell through. Kind of the whole whole band thing. Load up the car and just go for it all. So, music is kind of where it starts and ends with me. So mm -hmm. it's always been like that. It's kind of, I feel like every scene that I'm in, it has a certain rhythm to it, and every mm -hmm. song has has drama. So, I kind of enjoy marrying both of them. But if I had to choose, hopefully I never have to. It would definitely be music. Music, mm -hmm. music. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about your character on Saints and Sinners. Yeah. Tell for folks sure. about. It. Miles, old Miles. Miles is, uh, he's a little torn. He's a musician like me. He's, uh, we kind of meet him coming off of the R&B charts uh, into the gospel world and kind of, he's kind of trying to find that balance between the two worlds musically and the balance between the two worlds uh, personally with mm -hmm. his wife and his side thing. <laughs> and they're both kind of uh, with child. Uh, and at the opening of the third season, they have both lost their babies. And Miles is kind of, He's his own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. I think he uh, he's always in battle with himself. So yeah. and I think a lot of people can identify with Miles. So I think that's why he's resonated so much with people watching the show. How much is Miles Keith? Um, percentage wise, I would say uh, twenty percent. Twenty percent. I would say twenty five because okay. of the music. Okay. Um, and he's a, he grew up in the church. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but the, I don't have a wife or a side chick okay. pregnant. <laughs> So, wait a minute, wait, so you don't have a wife or a side chick <laughs> pregnant, but do you have a wife and a side, side chick? chick right? Right? <laughs> I knew that was coming. I don't, I, I don't have a side chick. I do have a girl. I'm not married. Though. Awesome. Okay, yeah. good. Good. So, Beautiful. So, you know, what other, know, speaking so. of music again, because, you know, I'm all in your business. <laughs> what other musical artists would you love to work with? I mean, because you work with a lot. So, but yeah. what, who's somebody that you haven't worked with yet? Uh, I think producer-wise, I always wanted to get in the studio with Pharrell. Me too. He's yeah. so dope. Yeah, he's super dope, and he's super, um, he kind of conforms to the artist. Mm -hmm. You can't put him in a box, so I think if me and him got in the studio, that would be 
He understands our With the camera, yeah. for real, yeah. where you at? Yeah. Yeah. Say it to the people. I'll let people. you folk, bro. I'll let you. <laughs> I'll let you. Yeah. So what, what is on the horizon for you? You obviously have so many different things going on. Right. Uh, what's next for you? Well, the album is out called Love Episodic, which I'm kind of spot dating around the country okay. doing that. Mm -hmm. I got a new single called Never Be You. Uh, which is out now, and we we just shot like a 15-minute movie with myself starring, co-starring Tony Rock, mm -hmm. which is kind of we, we kind of redid a couple movies like I Am Legend and Coming to America. Okay, mm -hmm. kind of like the epiphany of love and is the grass greener on the other side. So we did a 15-minute movie which will be out in a couple weeks, which I'm excited about. Good, good. Uh, and a new movie called Gangland, which will be out top of the year. We just finished up, and uh, I'll just be moving around, performing in different cities, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Hopefully coming to a city near you real soon. Okay. Well, let yeah. me ask you this, Keith. You do, um, I, a lot of your roles are serious and very mm -hmm. musical. Um, I think with the exception of Fat Albert, would right. you be more interested in doing some more comedic roles? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've done, I've done it all. I think the, the roles that people know me about, is know me from, is all the serious roles. Mm -hmm. But I'm really, people that know me know I'm a comedian at heart. So yeah. I definitely want to kind of, you know, get a chance to show it on the big screen. I think once you do something on a big stage and they kind of see you doing that, that you kind of yeah. get put in that box yeah. and you spend you, your career trying to get out of that box. So I kind of want to do it all. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I've done one horror movie, so I'm, I'm okay with horror movies. Right, right, you did that. But, <laughs> but yeah. comedy, absolutely. I guess I want to do good. more comedy. Well, we yeah. wish you